Hey everybody, my name is Sam Webb and this is Shopify Dev Tips. Today I'll be showing you how to add Bootstrap to your Shopify workflow. So let's get started. So the first thing you always want to do when bringing in some sort of outside code into your project is look at the documentation. So I've got Bootstrap's documentation pulled up already. If we scroll down the page, we'll see a bunch of different installation methods. Now, Looking at this, it's, it'll be similar to the last video we did where we, where we added in jQuery. Right? You can either use the npm install, in our case yarn add, or you can just add it straight into your theme.liquid file. Today we're going to go the adding it via theme.liquid route. We're in uh, source liquid layouts theme.liquid, right? This is the primary theme. And you could do the same thing in any of these other layouts, but I'm only going to do it in theme for now. If you look at this line down here, we've got our jQuery that I showed you how to add that in the last video. And so we've got that added back. And then uh, we're going and so we're going to be adding in Bootstrap to this file. Now, Bootstrap's JavaScript depends on jQuery, which is why we ha already have jQuery here. And so if we go back to the documentation, there are two lines that we're going to need. So first, we're going to need uh, the CSS. So let's just grab that. and copy it then we're going to paste that we're going to paste it before our uh, before our fonts and our CSS right and so the order now is going to be bootstrap then our fonts then our CSS so the next thing you're going to need the JavaScript now what you see is we've got two lines here, but the first line is jQuery, so you can skip that. And the second line is going to actually be Bootstrap. So I'm going to copy that. And we're going to paste that below jQuery, but above our JavaScript. And at this point, we should, in theory, have access to jQuery. So let's test it. I'm going to go on a, let's see, snippets. And into our header. Let's mess around with our header really quickly. So before we do that, let's go back to the documentation and let's look at what we can do with, with Bootstrap. And so we can use this alert success or, or any of the. So basically, they have uh, Bootstrap has a bunch of different predefined colors and they all have names, and so. You can see that they've got this alert, which is the which is what this item is. But then they have success, which is the color. I think that's probably green. Primary is the blue, and then secondary is gray. And all these colors can be changed. To get this layout, we're going to need alert and then alert primary. So above the header, let's add something in. Let's just do it, let's just do it below. div class equals alert and alert primary and we'll put a p in here hello world and if we go back to the site we now have this hello world alert that has all the styling from bootstrap within our site and that's it that's how you install bootstrap and that's how you can get started using it in your site don't forget jquery is a dependency for bootstrap so make sure you watch the last video where i show you how to install jquery on your site if you have any questions make sure you drop it down in the comments below if you found this video helpful make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you next time